Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to solve a common problem. The issue I have is when I go to File Explorer, and like most folks, I've got a ton of STL files, but I can't tell what they are. There's no preview uh, screen over here for them. So how did I solve this problem? Well, I ran across this interesting program by Marlin 3D Printer Tools, and I think you know it's worthwhile to mention that they have several different uh, programs with this, but um, in particular what I want to talk about is the STL, STL thumbnail. And so kind of long story short, what this is is a plugin that modifies the, uh, the Explorer shell in Windows to allow you to preview your STL files. So with that, um, what you do is you basically go down here. Now I have this link also below in the description, so you can just click on it. But you can see here under installation, you just download this MSI. Now I've already downloaded it and I have it here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install it. So it's a Windows MSI file, so I'm just going to click to go ahead and install. Say next, I'm going to accept the user agreement. And then you notice here, so it has the Marlin 3D print tools as well as the thumbnail extension. I'm going to hit uh, next, and then I'm going to hit install, and it's going to go through with its um, installation now. And here we're just going to hit finish. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the Windows icon. And then over here, you'll see STL configuration. And so we'll go ahead and click that. And then uh, we get this little pop-up box. And what we want to do is install and register STL thumbnail. OK, registration has com been complete. We will say OK. And um, this is normal. I don't know why this pops it up running a 64-bit, but it says that registration done with shell register. And so what we want to do here is click Restart Windows File Explorer. And we're going to say OK. And notice the Windows File Explorer in the background restarting. Now when you go back into Explorer, and if you especially choose large icons, there you go. You can see all your SDL parts in their full glory. This is a really cool plugin. So um, the uh, author has a donation and Patreon page. I'd highly recommend it uh, because, again, this is a real handy add-in because one of the problems I have, as you can see here, is this is just one subdirectory. I've got some, you know, basically with thousands of parts. Now, one of the things to be a little bit forewarned about is sometimes it takes a little bit to render the image because what's happening is Windows is having to you know take the math from the STL object and render it into an image so sometimes it might be a little bit slow so you have to be forgiving there but so far it seems to work pretty well I've used it on, on a ton of files and again haven't uh, ran into an issue so hopefully you found this interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there with the bell and swag shops up in the corner and we'll see you in the next video where we find out something cool in the DIY makerspace. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up with